Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marga, and I'm the Sales and Marketing Director of Incash, the Philippines' first independent ATM deployer with over 300 ATMs across the 7,000 islands of the Philippines. As an IED, Encash is always looking to expand to new markets and take advantage of new opportunities that present itself. 90% of our partners are rural banks or multipurpose financial cooperatives that support our vision to enable financial inclusion in most rural communities across the country. The need for cash, however, transcends economic classes, religious belief, language, and nationality. For several years now, government regulators have made financial inclusion, or simply put, enabling more people to access a bank's services one of their top priorities. But the latest data shows more progress still needs to be made as the bulk of the population remains neglected by banking institutions. And cash's primary proposition, selling proposition, remains to be convenience. The ability to offer cardholders the facility to access their funds anytime, anywhere. For in cash, that means looking for locations and opportunities to bring convenience and access to cash. Of the 10,160 banks and banking offices in the country today, over 70% of them are located in Luzon, one of the three main islands of the Philippines, with a third of banks in the country located in Metro Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Local banks are absent in more than a third of the towns around the country. This indicates a glaring opportunity for Encash and any ATM deployer today. With Cal's RTM, we were able to enter a market segment that remained unserved by any ATM deployer in the Philippines. The RTM's ability to provide secure ATM transactions without the need for ATM fit notes enabled Encash to open up a new revenue stream, engage a new type of partner, and bring convenience to a new unserved market. Let the following slides tell you what our new partners have to say about the RTM. Christine is a store proprietor in Oras, a fourth class municipality in a province that is best known to be the first, a typhoon's first landfall in the Philippines. The province is called Samar. Where Christine and her family live, there are no rural banks or multi-purpose financial cooperatives. Everyone has to travel at least 15 kilometers to get to the nearest in cash ATM. Transportation is not regular, so Christine did the next best thing. She called in cash and asked if there was any way we could help bring financial services to Aras. In this location, the cardholder pays the equivalent of two US dollars and 25 cents for a successful cash withdrawal. For Jonathan Thorpe, a British national who has called the Philippines home for over 25 years, the RTM has enabled him to manage cash buildup in three of his establishments, as well as provide customer service for his many foreign guests who now do not have to max out their credit card or forego another round of drinks. He charges from $1 to $2.50 per successful withdrawal, depending on the amount of cash withdrawn. For Mon de Ocampo, a banker in central Luzon, constant flooding due to regular typhoons have kept him from installing an Encash ATM in his branch. When the RTM was offered, he took immediate advantage of the device that could easily be carried and protected from the damages that a rampaging flood brings. They charged the equivalent of 75 US dollars, 75 cents for every successful withdrawal. Alan Nash, on the other hand, is no stranger to the beauty of lush coral reefs and uncharted waters. When he heard of Encash and the RTM, he knew it would not just bring value to his business as a dive resort operator, but also bring economic activity to Puerto Galera, his home for over 28 years in the Philippines. Since he parted with Encash back in April of 2014, he now operates two RTMs and earns both qualitative and quantitative benefits from the service. 
he charges $5 for every successful withdrawal. You may ask, why would the cardholder pay for such a service? And you heard earlier when Eric spoke about the Encash business model in, in the Philippines, because it costs more to actually find a commercial bank ATM to withdraw cash. So the cardholder pays for that transaction. To a regulator that seriously wants to increase the use of electronic channels from the current level of 3% of all payments, the ability to facilitate cash out transactions through the RTM made regulatory approval an easy decision. And cash received um, approval to, the, to use this device in less than six months. Sorry. Especially when the proper safeguards are implemented, which we do, by the way, to ensure customer protection and appropriate risk management. In its current guise, we operate and manage the Cal RTM just like any other ATM. We intend to deploy RTMs in locations where access to ATM fit notes is a challenge for our partner. Looking forward, we see ourselves deploying third-party owned banking kiosks or interactive tellers. And any financial institution that subsequently acquires Cal's self-service software will find that a quantity of these terminals able to deliver the message would have been deployed in areas they couldn't reach. It is a vision that is a very strong appeal for NCASH. Thank you for having me here today. <laughs>